Hello there, my name is Rachel. The first time you see my channel, I use sort of view cartoon series, anime series, all something completely random. And today we're going to talk about Sprigged. Now, this is not the first time Sprigged was actually animated. This is the second time. The first time was an animated movie that was probably the most glorious animation you have ever seen. And that's the only thing you can say about it because story wise, the movie kind of sucks. It's one of those movies that you have to turn your brain off and enjoy what it shows you. Of course, it's kind of hard to enjoy if it doesn't really have a story. In fact, the story just sort of confuses you, even the story is super basic. Yeah, it's something that you just enjoy the art. You'll be okay. Now, the series, they attempted to fix it, trying to explore the world in what is a spirit firing on Ming Nico Yo. Now, the story never explained why you join this sort of organization who's stopping other organizations to get sort of extant machina boxes that could took over the world or use it for evil purposes. But once more, that's basically the whole story. Each episode follows that same plot line that you find some evil object they have to stop or bury or destroy to the other person trying to grab it. But something that is, does grab your attention is the fact Yo sort of was questioned why you trust the organization uh, Arkham. That Arkham that could not be trusted because sooner or later they'll be corrupt or do questionable things with this object. And Yo is not a dumbass. I mean, technically he is a dumbass, but he's a dumbass he's so self-aware that he knows something up with the organization. When the time is right, he will face them. For now, he will do his job. He's basically a good little boy. He's a badass good little boy with good intentions. Of course, people don't point out also that his youth or his humbleness could actually kill him doing the job. He's not being careful or basically trust no one because the guy likes to trust someone, but he's once more, he's not a dumbass. He tries to do his best. Oh, that, that's all you can say about Yo. Yo is just an honest person. He's nothing really that deep as a character, but that's why the whole show compensates of the action and also the lore of each episode of the object. Like, where this Tenachi come from? Why the the past forgot about this people who made this Tenachi? What the people who created the reason why they did it? They have this interesting questions but it doesn't really want to sort of answer. It just give one simplistic answer. War, power, that's it. They don't realize what they have right in front of them. It's all glorious happenings of Earth. And that's it. That's all the whole sh series really is. But I have to admit, the show was building up to something else. To understand Yo and someone who tempted to hunt them. But it never really goes to that storyline because they left it as a cliffhanger. And that I'm okay with because the show never tries to be anything else, just a fun, glorious, adventure, gore fest. I enjoy it. Of course, they do point off good and evil. Like I said, more cartoon, a very good one. But besides that, I really can't say that much because the show is so simple is that if you like the first episode you will like the series if you don't like the f or if you don't like it you will enjoy it but it's stupid fun that that's all i can say i have a great time especially they do show a lot of badass action scenes i mean god some of them are just so well drawn sort of well choreographed you just like whoa because be warned, this episode's war serve test your patience because they do like to explain way too much. To the point you just like, can we least go on, do something else, that the explanation. Of course, this is the reason why they invented the fast forward button. And secondly, I think the episode's a little bit too long. I think you just need 30 minutes, maybe 20, and that's it. But that's just sort of minor complaints that does not ruin the fun factor all about this series. Everything is just sort of great, humble, even sometimes very uh, sweet. It's sort of like a slice of life with gore. Sounds a weird combination, but that's basically what it became. That's sort of a reason why we fight him, a reason why we live, a reason to hang out with your friends to, to protect them and help them see the next day. And that's it. I'm done with that. I enjoy that. I mean, I, I'm not very 
adept to the show, but it's a great time. Now, I really cannot say anything else about this show, just I kind of recommend it. Just watch the first episode, depends how you feel. I got nothing else to say, just one thing. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think the movie's better than this series or vice versa? Tell me, down, tell me down below. Let me know. I got nothing else to say. Just thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye.